it is very important that our policies are inclusive so that we can make rural areas economically self-sufficient and they do not have to leave their homes and migrate and overcrowd the urban areas because then there are uh, several infrastructural and urban problems and what is really important is not just to have an integrated and um, uh, um, a kind of an inclusive growth but to make the growth sustainable we should use uh, we should return to the nature what we use up for development of economic development the earth resources that we use up whether it's energy or water or for agricultural purposes or mines or minerals it is very important to um, substitute that and re return that to the earth and that can only happen if we change our um, lifestyles which is wasteful and which is um, uh, abusive of natural resources it is very important that we turn to the um, uh, more sensible lifestyle and I have noticed that actually in rural areas and tribal areas particularly people may not be self-consciously doing it but their very lifestyle is such that they become one with nature they live as the nature has meant them to live so we have to learn that and we have to make it sustainable in that sense Okay. Any, yes. um, uh, any, uh, any comments on the demonstrators, uh, to make demonstrators around this, the power of, 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 of the example through a demonstrator, now we're talking about Surat, the uh, importance of doing that, you know. And, and well, uh, on trust, that you know. note, I have to congratulate you for the initiative that you are taking um, at the global level and it is important to develop the models for people to follow in uh, rural areas, in urban areas, in semi-rural urban areas to set up the models to demonstrate how we can make the growth sustainable, more equitable, justiciable and inclusive.